guys welcome back to my ankara nation youtube channel my name is lizzie if you are just joining us for the first time please consider to subscribe turn on your notification button so you will be notified anytime i drop a new video in this tutorial i will be showing you how to make ankara ball bag actually i had earlier posted this video on this channel where it was in part it has part one part two part three part four so I got request from some of you to put the bag together for easy access. So that is what I will be showing you now. I'm going to show you how to make Ankara ball bag from beginning to end, from scratch to the end. If you don't have a sewing machine, you don't need to worry because we will not be using a sewing machine. I hope you enjoyed the video. Today, we are in the making of our Ankara ball shape bag. These are the materials I will be using. Ankara material, lining, paper fiber, marco, bag and do, scissors to cut, gum. We will also be using our paper. Now, because we are making a ball shape bag, Everything will be cutting out both on our marco and on our paper fiber will be in a round shape. You look for a round circular object, big one, and cut it out like this. This one I have already cut on my marco. You cut it out in two different sizes, like this. Two. You do the same thing to your marco. This same size, cut it out on your marco as well, like this. Two of two sizes. You use your big round object to draw them out. Then the next thing you do, you pick one of your paper fiber, place it down. You pick your lining. We want to wrap this one now with our lining. Pick your lining, add gum here, and add your lining to it. Add your gum. Add your gum to all the paper fiber, all the surface of the paper fiber. You add your gum to it. After adding your gum to all the paper fiber like this, leave it for some while to dry. Then you pick your black lining and put it on your paper fiber. Use your hand to smoothen it. After gumming it like this, use your hand to smoothen it. You turn it to the other side. This is how it will look like. Then you pick your, pick your scissors and cut out all this excess. You will leave small excess because we'll be folding in like this. But we need to cut out some of this excess from the lining. Cut out some of your excess. After cutting out your excess, this is how it will look like. Like this. Now you add gum to this edge here. Yeah. Add gum and gum your lining like this on it. You add gum to your to the edge to this edge. After adding gum to the edge like this, like this, you fold in your lining. Fold it in. And just use your hand to smoothen it. Fold it in. After folding it in, this is what it will look like. This is the front and this is back. You pick up the other paper fiber and wrap it the way we just wrapped this one too. Wrap this one too like that. You pick your lining and start wrapping. Pick your, put your gum first. After folding, this is what it will look like. This is the first one, and this is the second one. Now, you pick your mango as well. You add your gum. You do the same thing to it. Here, we'll be adding material on this one. First, add your gum on this part and add your material to it. Okay. 
after adding your gum like this, take your material and place it on it. Use your hand to smoothen it. Use your hand to smoothen it. Then you turn it to the back. This is how it will look like. You can cut out some of your excess material from the cloth. Without cutting out your excess, this is how it will look like. Add gum to the edge of the marker and wrap this on. Fold this in like this. Add your gum. After adding your gum, you fold your excess matcha, you fold it in like this. This is the back, this is the front. You did the same to your other marker. Wrap your material here and fold the excess here. After wrapping, this is our marker wrapped with our material. This is the back and this is the front. This is our lining. Our mark fiber wrap with our lining. This is the front and this is the back. Now, we want to do the side of the bag like this. What you will do, anywhere you want your bag to start from, that is where you start, you measure your bag from. If you want your bag to start from here, you put your table from here and measure it round. Measure it round from here. To come like this whether it's round to come to this side then you get the the number and measure it on your paper fiber that is how we get the side of our bag this is what i've already cut out for my for the side of my bag but the width is four the width is four but you can measure any length for the side of your bag. Now, we'll be adding lining to it. Add your gum to your marker, to your paper fiber. Add your gum. After adding gum, your paper fiber cut this same length cut it out on your lining but you add excess because we'll be folding in from inside cover this part with your black lining use your hand to smoothen it when you are done Wrapping this side, turn it to the other side. This side will look like you fold this one in. So you add your gum to the edge like this and fold it in. After gumming, this side will look like. We've wrapped this one with our lining and we're folding the excess. Now, what you will do on your material, the width of this paper fiber is four. So, on your material, you'll be cutting excess. Like, let's say the width is four, you cut excess on the right four, excess on the left four with the main uh, paper fiber that is 12. You'll be cutting out 12. Your width will be 12. Your width will be 12. That is excess 4, 4 at the both end. Then your length, depending on what the size of what paper fiber that you measure out, you add one, one, one inches as excess at the both end. That is how I got this one from. So now you turn your paper fiber to this other side, add your gum and paste your gum your material on it like this. After adding gum on your paper fiber, 
pick your material so that you will get the the boat essence you want to leave. You pick your preferred fiber and gum it on your on your material to monitor your excess that you left behind. Gum it. Use your hands to smoothen it. You can turn it and use your hands to smoothen it. Try using your hands to smoothen it. Turn it on the other side. This is what it will look like. Now, you fold this edge in. You fold this in on your material. You fold this edge in. And you fold this air too, like this. You'll be folding like this. You add your gum and fold it like this. You do the same thing to this one. Add your gum here yeah, and fold it in. This is what you can look at, like this. After folding in your material, this is how it will look like. That is when you are gumming, you leave, you don't put, you don't add gum on this your paper fiber at the end, at the both end, don't add gum. When you gum your material, then you fold it in like this, you fold it in, the both end, look at this one, fold it in, then you, you, you gum. Now, when you are done with this, so you pick your paper fiber, the one we have already wrapped with our lining. You place it beside the side of the paper fiber like this. You hold it up and this other one like this. This is how it will look like. You will be folding in this excess. That's why I say you should need excess. You will be folding in this excess like this. So now you add a little gum to the down of the paper fiber and fold in your material. After adding gum to the down of your paper fiber, now you place it beside the side of the paper fiber like this. Pick it up like this. This is how it will look like. And start folding in your excess like this. Start folding in your excess. You fold in your SX like this. This is the reason why I say you should leave 4 4 inches SX. You use it to fold in the back. Look at how it looks like. This other side is like this now. We we'll put this other side of the paper fiber here. This is how the inside of the bag will look like. Put it here and still fold this SX in the same way you folded this one. I'll add my gum here now. Place it here and fold this one in. After adding your gum to the down part of the paper fiber, ready wrap with our lining, pitch your bag, put it beside the other side of the bag put it like this and fold it in like this look at the inside of our bag fold it in fold it fold in your excess like this Now, after folding in like this, the next thing to do is to pick your marco ready wrapped with your material. We'll be placing it on this side now. Okay. You pick the other one too. You put it on this side like this. What you do? Add your gum to your paper fiber. Add your gum to your marco. You leave, leave it a little bit to dry before you gum it together. Now, let's add gum. Yeah. 
after you adding your gum like this, give it a little wine to dry. Then pick your mako and gum it together. Piece your mako like this. And use your hand to smoothen it. You go mix together like this. After gumming this part, you gum the other side too, the same way. You pick your mako, add gum here, add gum here, leave it for a while to dry and gum it together the same way we have done to this part. After adding gum, you leave it for a while to dry. You pick your mako, you want already have it with your material. And gum it the same way we gum this part. After gumming, this is what it will look like. This is our ball shape bag. This is the inside of the bag. This is the both sides. This is down of the bag. Now, what is mean is to add our bag and if you want to use Back chain on this bag. If you don't want to use this bag and you want to use back chain, what should you do? Take your bag ring. Bag ring is like this. You place a O here. Place another O here. Push this bag ring in. It has another one. This is the bag. Come to the bag like this and place this one. You eat it with your armor. That's where you will use your bag chain. But now, me, I'm using my bag and do. Now, your bag and do has opening. Put it on the edge of the bag, like this, where you want your hand to stay. And use your armor to eat it. To eat it. That's how you fix the hand. You fix this second one too, like that. After fixing the hand, this is how it will look like. Now, you can decorate your bag with stone. You can write your name, anything you want. You can write it with stone. You can use stone. This is stone to decorate it. What you just need to do, you add your gum to your stone and start placing it on your bag to you write whatever you want to write on the bag this is the finished work of our ankara box bag i use stone to design my name on the bag on the inside of the bag this is the angle the side of the bag If this is your first time of seeing my video, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, My Ankara Nation. Thanks for watching!